Savage AF. We're waiting for everybody to jump back on. Not a lot of people jumped on, so I'm going to pin this on here once Black Pedro jumps on. Savage AF, there you go. Um, I, it's, I, I'm, I'm getting a little bit crazy with this. I don't like it. I don't know what to do. Uh, Pedro, yeah, um, can you? Yeah, can you hear me? I don't know what to I, do, I man. I'm, it, it, it's, it's, it's. What do you mean, really, Shang, Eve? I mean, I'm really. This shit is starting to get on my. I don't know what the fuck else to do. What if you could tell me how to fucking do the shit? I'll do the shit. But it's starting to frustrate me to the point where it's like, fuck the show, fuck this phone. <laughs> I mean, like, what do I do? Somebody said, do it online. I'm like, fuck that. I tried to do this that. You gotta is, pay to do it like this that. This shit. This shit is hilarious. That is. What's funny is not only that you can't solve the problem because you're very tech savvy, like the man. Very tech savvy. So to be able to not solve the problem, a is hilarious. But how mad it's making you? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it drives it's, me crazy. It, like when people call me, I start hating them. I'm like, right. fuck you, call me for it. And I was a booker <laughs> from Baltimore. Never has nothing to say. Never <clears throat> has nothing to say. Never booking. None of the bookings ever come through. But keep fucking calling me. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, so nobody call. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Get an iPad. Please. Get an iPad. It is, does it, can you do this on the iPad? Because I'll get one tomorrow. Yeah, no you sure can. You sure can. Definitely. I guess what I'm gonna have tomorrow. Tomorrow get, I'm gonna it. have one of these motherfuckers. Yeah, no, no. Another. <laughs> another <laughs> Why does it make you so mad? I don't know. It just it, device, it drives yeah. me crazy. Cause <laughs> I'll be sitting here I working. No fucking calls. Nobody call me. As soon as the show fucking starts. Maybe because it's a six, I don't know, but I hate all y'all that call me. Yeah. I hate all y'all. Yeah. No, it, it, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, but all right, that being said, let's get into the show uh, before somebody else fucking calls. Uh, uh, we are Savage AF. It is uh, October 8th, 2020, uh, the year of hell. And here we go with the daily run up. We're going to start from the yes. bottom. Uh, we're going to end the show uh, with, you know, we talk about vote, 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 register to vote. Uh, there's another other very important thing you need to do before you go vote. We're going to talk about that. Um, and they're off, which is usually what is yelled at the beginning of a, a horse race. Um, but uh, D your boy Dumpty has brought up this new racehorse theory um, that has uh, the Jewish community upset and, and should have us upset as well. We're going to talk about that. Uh, but before that, we're going to talk about debate gate. Because now your boy don't want to, uh, he don't want to debate if it's, if it's going to be virtual. And, and the, debate, the debate commission, the presidential debate commission uh, proposed a, you know, a virtual debate because, you know, the president's infected with a disease um, and, and on drugs, obviously, because before we talk about that, we're going to talk about these orange flip flops. And I'm not talking about the footwear. I'm talking about how your boy, Trumpy Dumpty, said he wasn't going to... He, he he was ending the talks over a stimulus bill, and now he's back into it, and we we gonna we gonna talk about that. But be, before we get into that, uh, right here, October eighth, twenty twenty, Savage AF. The reason I said I was uh, in the basement, uh, in under the trap door, uh, in my main floor, is because that is one of the places where uh, six individuals uh, of the thirteen charged. <laughs> with conspiracies and terrorism and plots. Uh, this is where six of them met in my home state of Michigan as they plotted. Right. I, 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 you got my text. You got my text. I was like, right. it's getting crazy, man. They, they, they plotted to kidnap and try, as in some sort of legal process that, 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 that they obviously have had come up with, uh, to try to take Governor Whitner from her vacation home to a secure location in Wisconsin and try right. her for tyranny. Um, these guys, I usually don't do this, <laughs> were white and still are. They're still white right and, now. And, and, um, and you know what? For some reason, Michigan has a very crazy... I don't usually say this either. White people who want to no. actually kidnap a governor. Do you, you understand how crazy 2020 a has woman, been? A woman as well. Like a woman. As a, right, right. Let's just, let's like, just there's some, there's some motherfuckers that need to be kidnapped. 
Yeah. Just think about the idea of six dudes snatching a woman. Just a woman. Let alone her power status or whatever. But just, just the concept of six men plotting to stuff a woman in a van is absolutely it's just insane. insane and then and then because you can just do that dudes do that right like women get kidnapped and trafficked and, and that you know that's oh yeah happens. yeah right no no i, right? I know so, but it's just it's it's you don't think it, but it's then, getting but then it, to, to, to shoot for a governor as well right to, to do that uh, now this is on the heels of course of of what's his name christopher ray the head of the fbi who just a couple weeks ago said our, our number one domestic terror threat are white supremacist groups, white guys, you know what I mean? Like just white guys wanting to do harm. And they said that since early this year, these guys have been plotting this. And, and thankfully the FBI had uh, an, an informant, an operative in there. Uh, no, no, also who, had operative undercover. They had undercover people acting like Donnie crazy Brasco. white Donnie supremacists. Donnie Brasco, right. dog. <laughs> um, yeah, they Donnie and, Brasco'd them. Yeah, they Donnie and, Brasco'd them. And I think that, you know what? It was a good thing because they said from a one to ten, they were at seven pertaining to their plan. So, uh, and some at, at SIBA okay. 313 said, sounds about white. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 Uh, really? And, and, and SIBA 313, that 313, for those who don't know, that's that Detroit area code, <laughs> Michigan, that is. Uh, what did that say? Imported. Yeah, from yeah there we go. Bro. Um, I so, already know what it is. All right. What you. So, yeah. Uh, um, you know what it is. So uh, we, we've already said on the show many times that you don't, you know, we didn't venture off into the woods in Michigan because it's a bunch of militia motherfuckers up there, right? With the guns and the play. And they, listen, you talk about plans. These motherfuckers had, uh, first of all, they were like, they already did it once, but this time with violence, they were going to run up on the state capitol. Okay, like they did the first time, but this time, right, banging. But, but, Molotov right, cocktails right. for the police. Okay, so you want to talk about Blue Lives Matter. Well, guess what? It's a bunch of crackers out there, white guys, who want to kill police officers, right? Just, just to snatch up this woman, okay? So that, that was another thing. They successfully detonated a shrapnel-wrapped explosive device, right, as part of their plans. They got up under a bridge to scout out where they could put a bomb to collapse it as part of their diversion and distraction techniques um this was something what's wrong was, with these motherfuckers in michigan man you sound like my therapist crackers crackers you can't that, you got, that sounds to like out of a fucking but it sounds like something out of a movie when i when i text you it i was like is this real and then you see the fbi guy come on tv and then everybody's like no these motherfuckers was real as shit and I just, it's made me think, are they that desperate to, and this wasn't like, like anybody, you know, I'm not saying that regular women shouldn't be kidnapped because you ain't the governor, but damn, they scouted you don't her. think that's a, that's a damn moment. That's a goddamn moment. They scouted her vacation home twice. Wow. So this is what this is what we're dealing with, people. This is what's going on in the world. This is what is happening. And the the other thing is, they already had threats. There was a a, a video. I, they already had threats about cutting people's heads off um, to get their freedom back. Uh, the, this mission, Michigan militia, had do, done that. Talked about cutting the governor's head off. Talked about um, Cuomo cutting you know cutting his head off and riding down the street. Like that's some like that that's crazy town shit. But this is what we deal with right now. Plus the world's crazy. And um I I made a post and I got another personal threat. Thank you guys. I got another personal <laughs> You guys yeah. are doing your best and I'm proud well, of you. Um if we're not getting, I made if we're a joke about threats. if we're not getting threats on Savage A if we're not doing it right. Oh yeah, obviously. that's that we're we're obviously fucking up. I got a but personal threat. Um, because I made a joke about by Bi- I mean not Biden about um Pence with the fly on his head. Because come on, as a comic, that was just it's I easy. mean that's a lot. Come man. on. There, you know that every writer comic was like, Did the fly stay on his oh shit. So of course I, I did a couple jokes about it and um they took it personal. They took it personal and said that uh when we start going back out to do shows that 
And then there, one guy actually sent me a clip from the world according to Garp where at the end of the movie, or towards the end of the movie, they blast Garp. He sent that clip. So um, I, I told, I, I responded letting him know that his mother's a cunt and, <laughs> and I need my shoes back because I left them under her bed. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> so I, we'll see where that goes. But he was probably, he's probably wearing those shoes like, oh, look, mom got me a new pair. Yeah. Wow, these are nice. These are too uh, big. Pretty. These are too big, though, mom. That's weird. She got me the wrong size. <laughs> she no, I, I wish small. I was joking. I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious, uh, and I got one well, on Twitter. I, I got a crazy one on Twitter. I was uh, I was one of the first people at the gun range this morning. <laughs> Just and that was be- and that was before you told me about the Michigan militia shit. Like, to be honest, I didn't uh, find out about Are you serious? It. Yeah, I, even, I just had a, it was something in my heart said, I should go shoot today. Just go, go let it out, Pedro. Just let it go. <laughs> and yes. uh, it, got some headshots in, got some precision going. Like, I was like, okay, bro. Uh, and then you were like, uh, then you sent me that text and I started getting into the news and I was like, okay, well. But it's, it's, it's it, what, like, it, it, crumby, crumby, crumby crackers, that, it's hilarious. Um, the thing is, it's getting more serious because if you look at, there was two militias, one in Wisconsin that actually threatened to kill a black family and said that they're systematically going to kill black people. There's one on on um, Twitter, and it's a military. He's a military guy. said that he hates all Asians and he's going to kill as many Asians as possible. And he got flagged. It got flagged. And that take it down, happened. but yeah, but I mean, still nothing to nothing to do with the China virus, right? Probably has nothing right. To do and with there's that yeah, there's Chinese people. There's Chinese <laughs> people that have been beaten up. Old, uh, there was an old man that was beaten up, and then um, it was funny. There was this one with this Asian dude. The dude said, "You're the reason that we got the virus," and he started pushing this Asian dude. And the Asian dude told him, he said, and he, you know, wasn't like, I guess he expected him to be like, chung, 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 chung. he said, yo, dude, don't push me again. Dude pushes him again. When I say he dropped at least 10 on him. Yeah. And then he, he dropped 10 on him. And I'm talking about precision 10, not no, it was like, oh, Chinese racist, Kung Fu. No, nope. just straight up. Pop, 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 pop. Dude fell back in front of a car in front of in the street, and then when he slumped down in front of the car, he gave him two more. <laughs> I was like, yeah. "Wow, Bing. yeah," Bing. because he was going to. The, the guy kept fucking with him because of, he said, "You know that you gave the virus," and you can tell this dude was like just trying to get through the day. Does that make sense? What I'm saying like, just I just want to go home, and he just yeah. he took it out on this dude. And I mean, now he fucked dude up. Like the dude was like. Badly hurt. Mm-hmm. Plus, he hit his head on the car, which was good too. But yeah. um, and then it's weird like that, that I text you that, and you uh, you already were out at the rain. I'm walking out, out the, the rain. <laughs> I'm walking out right. the rain. So, <laughs> but when I saw it, I thought my work I wondered, like, <laughs> does Pedro know that they're trying to kidnap the governor, <laughs> the governor of Michigan? <laughs> and what me, the fuck? Me, and me so blessed. But no, I'm I'm in L.A. right now, so I was I was at a range uh, down in Inglewood. Um, C. Vaughn's 247, he said, are your groups getting better at the range? I think you mean my uh, groupings of, of, of bullets. And uh, yeah, man, placement's getting much better. Got to You got to learn to pull the trigger without, you know, moving the gun at all, just pulling through smoothly. And then, uh, and, and, and re- you know, kind of resetting your, your grip after each shot or resetting your, your sights. Oh, wow. Shot. It's, it's the, the, uh, me so blessed that it was 13 people arrested. Yeah, yeah, no, um, definitely. Yeah, so there were six six guys federally. Right. And then another seven uh, directly from the state of Michigan um, <clears throat> who are, you know, on charges of, like, you know, uh, commissioning a weapon in, in you know, in, in the use of a felony, uh, things like that. So, yeah, there, there, it, 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 was a, it was an extended thing because what happened is, it was these six guys who got together. Then they reached out to a militia group. In the, again, we have these established militias called the Wolverine Watchmen. Jesus Christ, man! This shit is Com- this shit is getting like crazy, man. It's a combination of two different comics, <laughs> but uh, Wolverine Watchmen, 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, they're batshit crazy too. So, one was nominated of- for an Emmy, and the other one was uh, a movie about a psychotic with Ant Manium um, Claus. Yeah, so Claus, yeah. <laughs> they said, I, I would "Fucking say psychotic." Let's go. He'd been through a lot. We'll bring Logan had been through a lot. First of all, his name. Not, was by Logan. the way, that was a good movie. I just the saw last it movie about, Logan. Oh, we, man. That like two heart. weeks ago, I saw that two weeks ago. Heart, dog, that had heart. Uh, did uh, you like it? Yeah, no. Um, oh, yeah, yeah uh, no. I think that what's going on when I see stuff like this, and I see the desperation, and some of the, you know, the thirty-three percent, because it is thirty-three percent of people that are voting for Trump, and his ratings are dropping after the, it dropped drastically after the, um, the debate. They are feeling desperate to the point where they feel like they have to go out join with other militias and white supremacists. The Proud Boys are now down with the white nationalists. Um, it's going to, I think, unfortunately, they were, they were. You, you froze for a second. Go ahead. I was just saying they are white nationalists, the, the Proud Boys. That, that's exactly what they are. No, no, yeah, no. But there was an organization that was, enough. I forget the name of it, um, and now they're they're kind of like, they use the, the what he said in his debate as a recruiting tool. There's a recruiting tool. Now they're recruiting even more of them, you know. And well, they're getting, they're I, getting recruited the into. A, they're getting recruited into a man love because the Proud Boys hashtag was taken over by uh, the gay community. <laughs> so, yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> so, but but no, it it, it definitely ups you know that communication there and. And when you tell somebody to stand by, it, it, it means get ready. It, it is a call to action, a certain level of action, right? It's like, ready up, get your shit ready. So I'm out here doing the same, man, and, and looking for coalitions myself. So uh, we're going to keep it moving like that, y'all. Savage AF. Uh, we are uh, both at Comedian Shang. Make sure you follow him. The man Follow at today. Black Pedro. Also, yes, if you get a chance, um, you see it's pent down there. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, we we're almost we just put it up uh, and really actively. And if you get a chance, I'm going to type in here now. Um, just go to YouTube and put in um, Savage AF podcast, and it'll come right up. You'll see us. I I changed the header. I did another graphic because it seems like I, I what I did was I had a bunch of people that follow the show and some people on Facebook, and I told them which graphic do they like the most, and it was the one with the red flag. Mm-hmm. You know the the flag on both our face, so that's the one that um, seemed to be to get the Poppin'. most. Um, there you go. Yeah, it got the most. And then there was another one where it was silly. Where we're in the mid air, and we're you're jumping and we're jumping. I that one was just real real silly. So I, I posted it up and uh, thank Sometimes you guys silly. for. Um, yeah, no, well, silly's good. Silly. Well, well speaking speak well. Well, sometimes silly's good, and then sometimes silly is when your president flip flops between. Cutting off uh, negotiations for a stimulus package, which in this pandemic and economic crisis, everybody needs, right? Uh, he, he cut off negotiations the other day, and now it's flip flops to, oh, he wants to go back to uh, closing a big deal, a big stimulus package. He, he's ready to do that. Now, some, some might think that, you know, like Nancy Pelosi is like, you know, are the steroids getting to him? And, and we've pondered that, too. But what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> that motherfucker's you know, crazy. The Roy rage. He's like, fuck a deal. You know what? I would fuck a deal. Like, yeah, yeah. Bring a deal in here and I'll fuck the shit out yeah. of you, man. Yeah, um, and but, you know. But the reality is, it's the, it's for him, the stock market. And well, completely. Yeah, he knows. When when he when he says that, hey, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to cut off negotiations and, and, and uh, stimulus talks. Uh, there was a dip in the market, right? After there was a, after a rise, there was a, a sharp decline in the market. Uh, so he looks at that and then comes back and is like, you know what? I'm ready to do a deal. Let's go, baby. Yeah, and, I mean, and he, kills more, he, cares more, he cares more about the stock market than he does fucking, you know, human beings. You know, like know. actual breathing and, you know, living human beings. And the thing is, I think that it, it is a combination of the Roy rage and the fact that he's upset about how badly, at least from the press, they rated Pence. Mm-hmm. I saw a thing where he he was very upset 
even though the ratings were like 60 million people, 60 million people watched that shit. But they, you know, all of the memes, they're mocking Pence. They're mocking how robotic he was. Uh, and it's driving, it's driving fucking Trump crazy. Yeah. It's, it's making him. Um, and so and, and, he, and, he had to do that to make a bold statement to throw, throw off all the attention that Pence is getting. And it's negative attention. And then he called, um, yeah, speaking of he negative called, attention. Go ahead. He called I, Kamala. I know what you about to say. Yeah, I know what you're about to say. Go ahead. No, I'm not. I, yeah, see, somebody said I was making this up. I bullshit you not. Nothing about policy, nothing about what she said or the content of what she said. She, she was horrible. She's unwatchable. I called her a monster. Unlikable and called her a monster Un several times. He said that mon she was a monster on stage. So, like, uh, the idea of, again, uh, you know, this, this, this white guy assault on women. And, and this is why, like, I know, I know we argue that, and, and there's no argument, white, white women have been, you know, and not all of them, obviously, but uh, historically, there have been white women, uh, you know, a, a big slice of them that have been complicit and, and completely sort of active in, right. in you know, oppression, right? But it, 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 it's ultimately towards a patriarchal oppressive system, right? One that benefits white men. So even 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 those that support white supremacy, ultimately those white supremacists will come after white women, right? We see that. And and in the same way, they're gonna come after another woman, Kamala, obviously because she's a woman of color. Um it's it's much easier for them to do, uh or I think easier to even see. But yeah, man, that you know to call her a monster is like, bro, like as her husband, uh, Doug Emhoff should be in slap mode again. You know what I'm saying? Like no, when, that dude, yeah. when that dude ran up on Kamala and they got that still of him being like, Ugh. like, you ever seen that? When there, there's a dude who ran up on Kamala and they, and Doug Emhoff, her husband was one of the dudes like escorting him off stage. And there's like this clip of him looking like, I'm going to fucking bite your throat out. You know what I mean? Like, uh, right, and um, that's they're what doing the same thing they did to. We go me in the streets, president. Of yo, no, it's getting bad, and it's, and it's it, and he treats women that way. But the bottom line is that's not just it; it's the racial aspect of it. The motherfucker man, like they would show images of of Obama hung from trees. They had a uh, <laughs> a thing that was an image like her. You could tell it was Kamala, um, hanging with a noose. And they took it down. They flagged them. There was three things I checked. Because what I did was I was checking out how many things are happening where people are getting flagged and taken off of Facebook and taken off of uh, Twitter, where they're literally, like, dropping their Twitter. And um, to me, it's like he has to – he flip-flop partly because the stock market, primarily the stock market, but he also – that made him seem like big man and I'm coming to the negotiating table, you know, so – I think it's bullshit. I mean, I think it's bullshit and, that that and calling her a monster and publicity yeah. mag. Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter no, who was married, who she married to. The bottom line is that was fucked up to call her a monster. There was nothing he said about her policies. He never talks about policies or practicality or anything else. It's all about his feelings and what makes him look bad. So fuck that. Yeah, uh, he sounded like a child and pretty on the left and the right. She said, "I'd rather be a monster than a stripper hoe like his wife." Now, come on. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on now. Shots listen, fired. Listen, listen, Melania Trump is not a stripper hoe, okay? She's a hoe stripper, okay? That, like, right, you got to put the... I think she's right, a hoe first. Be... Hoe first, strips on the side. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. And she'll do, was she'll illegal. Do some things for a little change. She was an illegal. I don't know why people don't know that. She was an illegal, but they talk about, illegal. you know, going against immigration, but they always fucking... Uh, but but the, all these women he's getting, they were all immigrants, and they you know, and all of a sudden they got status. You know, his her family automatically got status. Get the fuck out of here. We already know what the deal is. It's all mm -hmm. corruption and hypocrisy. And I hope they all get punched in their private parts as hard as possible by Thanos. Yeah. No. Yeah. But see, and for those who don't know, because I know some of y'all know the difference, but like a a stripper hoe. Is 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 a stripper, right? That's essentially what she do, and then you know, and then every now and then, like she'll give a little head or something for like forty dollars or whatever. 
And, and, right. and that, that, that's the, the, you know, she hosts second, right? She, she stripped first, hosts well, second. Well, wait a minute, but I'd say, I'd say, she, well, yeah, definitely host stripper, or is it stripper? Yeah, well, she no, I, be but, but, but Lanyo be host stripper because, right. you know, you, you know, she was fucking her way on, on up to wherever she was getting first. And then right. if it was a slow night or whatever, bam, she might then get to the strip club. Right. Yeah, for but, the old, But you know, I mean, now, first off, club. I'm offended by that. I'm offended by that because she's so articulate and so well-spoken and the way she projects herself. I don't understand why you would say something like that about her. And I'm offended. And I, I just, I won't have it anymore. I just won't have it. Hey, now, I mean, not. Eloquent and I ain't hold, seen. Hold. Oh, <laughs> she, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and they called. Too, they, call, they said Michelle Obama was all these things, and this woman has actually had her pussy lips rip another woman's forehead. Yeah. And we so, have the photos. So you know, all, all that being said, before we move on to 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 another another flip flop situation, uh, appa Here's apparently, a flip, like that, <laughs> it's like that bitch you do flip floppy. Flip flop, flip flop, yeah, yeah, yeah. Flip, flip, flip flip. It's 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 uh it, you know, apparently stimulus negotiations are back on. So we'll see we'll see whatever that means. I, obviously, it's a it's a fucking you know charade. Like it's it's just a fucking. Well, it's for the stimulus package, but also uh, he wanted to shut down, the, you know, the situation with unemployment, which I don't know if he has the power to do that, but. Um, yeah, he he wanted to make because he feels like people with unemployment don't need it. Uh, well, not him. What's his head of um, the creepy dude that looks like he he pets cats and then you know Jared, tries to fuck them? Jared Kushner? No, no, not Jared Kushner. That's the that's the daytime vampire. Not him. Okay, my bad. I, you I, said, the other guy that's in you front said of, creepy dude that one. says he pets cats and then fucks them. Is that what you said? No, the, the not yeah that no yeah, the guy that is above the he's the money guy for Trump. Oh, Manu, Mnuchin. Mnuchin. Steve Mnuchin. Okay, Steve Mnuchin. Oh, yeah, oh, he's no, creepy. No, he's to creepy. Me, no, to me, he's the guy that uh, I think has a second family somewhere else, and there right. he's he's a, a middle school janitor, like he slips away, and uh, just likes to hang out in the gym and and stare at the kids. Boy, girl, right. he stares matter. at the kids and he just, sniffs the bleachers. He yeah. looks like a like, like when he all looks the kids like get up after the game. Yeah, yeah, he, he yeah. He, so and um, he actually said <laughs> that. Um, well, we already gave them one stimulus. I mean, they'll be fine. They'll yeah. be okay. I, this up? is coming from a dude that got a gold toilet. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know if he has a gold toilet. <laughs> Yo, what's up, El Newt? Um, I El just, Newt. I just. I, I just feel like the bottom line is this is someone that, um, you know, has no idea how real people live, just like Trump does, doesn't, and doesn't give a fuck. So the bottom line is, honestly, no bullshit. Honestly, if he does flip flop back again because he wants to drop the negotiations until after election, because he did say that he did until after the election. And yeah, if he doesn't win. Yeah, it's, it's, it, yeah, if he wants to do that. But I'm. I think Nancy Pelosi's right. It's like, yo, this dude is not speaking normal. He's something. The fuck wrong with him? He shouldn't even be a person to decide. Like, listen, they gave him a bunch. Of, they gave him a bunch of drugs, and he's like, I feel great. Yeah, yeah. I feel like twenty years younger. It's like, uh, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Uh, right, yeah. Did you see him breathing hard as fuck? Right. <sighs> <sighs> yeah. This Have you had steroids before? I've been on steroids oh, before. By by the way, since since we're on that subject, uh, this this Regeneron, uh, the company that has the <sighs> the cocktail that he's doing this, this that cocktail that they gave him that yeah mono, the experimental mono, cocktail yeah the monoclonal uh, cocktail or whatever, it's it's derived from, get this, it's derived from, no bullshit. Aborted fetuses. What? Like, yes, sir. Like they, they, they That's part of what. And I have a Planned Parenthood hat on. Other, other research. Uh, you got on your plan. That shit should have sparked it off for me earlier. But uh, I, I th th it kind of came to me just before we started the show. But they, um, 
like Regeneron, that company, uh, developed this, you know, this cocktail, this this medicine uh, from an elective abortion, right? Uh, which is one of those things that uh, right to lifers uh, are, are dead set against. Trumpy Dumpty has often been against, and yet now that shit is in his body. The same, the same shit. You know what I mean? Like that they that they on the religious tip. For, and for him, it's not even religious. It's just manipulations, right? But li literally, look this up. This is how, uh, yes, Miss Avro, this is how stem cell research happens. Like, it, my, you know, it, it's, that, that's what it is, man. So my ex, my ex is, um, I met her, I, I, I did a show at Stanford. I met her at Stanford. I ended up with her for like three years. And uh, she's one of the scientists dealing with the stem cell research pertaining to that. So she's a big deal. She's a big scientist, science, science. She's a science big deal. Uh, she's been published in major, yeah, my ex. Yeah, and now we're not together, and she has 13 kids. Um, That's all good, bro. I dodged that bullet. I yeah. dodged that <laughs> 13 kids is a job, bro. That's a, that's a good yeah, no, she No, she has about, she has about five or six. She's, she's yeah. doing her thing. Her vagina, apparently she's using her pussy as a Petri dish to just pump them out. <laughs> just, <laughs> just like, what the fuck? It's weird when you hear your ex, like, you ain't been with him a long time, you hear how many kids? What? Um, but it's like the um, ping pong show in Thailand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, man. Just shooting right up. But, um, but no, let me ask you this. I want to uh, also before I do that, make sure all you people uh, out here follow at, um, follow at Black Pedro. Also subscribe. We're almost at a hundred. We just put it up. We're almost at a hundred people. We're three three away from a hundred. So subscribe to Savage AF. Subscribe. Go on YouTube. And let's put in Savage AF Podcast. And you'll see it. You'll see our pictures. I changed all of the graphics. So uh, it's uh, it looks totally different. And shout out to Eve. Eve underscore. Eve's Apple underscore 7916. She is the shit. She's the one helping us with this. Beyond belief. We wouldn't. Uh, we, we appreciate you so much. And uh, Pedro's going to send some pictures of himself standing nude on a sailboat to you soon. Yeah, just on a sailboat, hold, holding Gertrude, and just with his hand on his hip. It's called the wind. It's called the wind beneath my nuts. That's what it's going to be. Yeah, yeah, and that's actually the single that Pedro's going to put out after the photos get released. Mm -hmm. That's so. What I just is. wanted y'all to know. We give back at Savage. We we try to make sure that you please. Yes. So all you ladies, J News yes. in the building. Welcome to Hollywood. Oh, wow. Make sure y'all follow J News, man. Uh, so Miss Avro said it's, you're going to be doing it on her boat. So yeah. <laughs> whatever. I mean, you ain't got. We. It's not about ownership of the thing. It's about how you use it. Okay. You know what but, I'm but, look, look at everybody saying, "Ooh, Pedro, share with the group." She See, said, I know I shouldn't have started this shit. I, st I, I started. Y'all nasty, shit. savage ass. Y'all nasty. Right. Why y'all so stay nasty? Fo stay focused, class. And stay focused. Listen. Stay focused, think, man. So, so subscribe. <laughs> so y'all can refocus back on the show now. Right, so subscribe to the uh, podcast and let's we'll move on. But that was pretty strange. <laughs> and Miss <and laughs> really says, weird. she said, "But as naked, n e k k e d. That's that's nasty naked. You that's can be naked nasty. and just be, and just be natural and and with the with the you know, universe. But when you naked, yeah, <laughs> yeah. you drop an anchor at every port. You know what I'm saying? Watch out. Uh, okay, but but the other thing I wanted to say, just I know we're going to go on to the next topic is. Um, from all the stuff I read online, because I was like, like simultaneously working, I had like four different uh, things open while I was on the computer. Na that's nasty naked. Um, <laughs> yeah, this uh, this audience is hilarious. You just that's extra naked. You you ain't supposed to be that naked. Is you is yeah. baby naked? Put, um, some, put some skin on. Kamala, Kamala. Also, the other than the people that threatened her on Twitter and they got taken down. Um, they said that, the, uh, you know, just because of the situation um, with Dumpy and all this other crazy, he's acting crazy and everything else, they said that they're going to have to actually have more security than they ever had before, other than Obama. Obama had the most security detail ever. So that's how bad it's getting. So that's why I'm glad you're getting your, your, your grouping together, because we're going to need it soon. Yeah, man. Uh, um, so, you know, speaking of crazy shit, right? Uh, your boy Dumpty, infected with COVID, 
on this drug cocktail that's got him feeling great uh, <laughs> is demanding for an in-person uh, debate for the second debate, which is supposed to be next week. Uh, the debate commission, after you know his diagnosis, is like, nah, we, we're going to do a virtual, and he's refusing to do a virtual. Um, right, because he doesn't want to get cut off. He said he doesn't want to get. They go. They go. They go, they go. Yeah, they go to mute that mic. <laughs> that, that's easy. That's easy. No, nah, he mic. would never do that. I knew he wouldn't do that. Yeah, but but you know that that's you know for any supporter out there, I just want you to know that's some bitch made shit right there. You know what I mean? Like first of all, I'm, he's out here like he's calling the the therapeutics the cure. He's like therapeutics. I consider them a cure. Right, so he's already in that in that batshit space, right? <laughs> he's, he's he's selling that shit, right? Um, so in his mind, he's now cured, right? He he's good, so right. He he's willing to not just willing, but adamant about going into a space uh, and being with people. He's back in the Oval Office. He's floating through the West Wing, like he's not quarantining or following any of his own CDC right. shit. So I don't see, you know, like, the, the, you know. Well, he, I mean, Biden's, Biden's, Biden's camp was not going to, to commit to a, a live debate anyway because it was supposed to be a town hall situation. And AJ Fitz at 365, yo, what's up? Someday I'll be as fit as you. Um, I was when I was younger. Um, he said uh, he's going to uh, rally, not Zoom. Wow. Uh, this guy wants the world to get fucking covid no, He's he just not rap. listening. His, his doctors announced, and you, you, you're right, Miss Adverb, this nigga is touched. Like, in his brain, there are raccoons that eat the garbage that is his mind, and then he listens to them. But right. they, they, he, he wants to do rallies. His doctor has said that he is, he is good to go on Saturday and be around people. Oh, the uh, doctors which, which is are, two are days all from now. full of shit. He the just, doctors got, are full he just of got, shit. got diagnosed a week ago, like, no, not yet. Not even that. I mean, I think I think that the doctors should be ashamed of themselves and they should get their ass beat. I think that we should all put them in a circle. And just like when gangs jump in people, we should do that shit. Um, oh, damn. Yeah, I, man. What do you drink? Human blood? AJ fit? You're 40. Get the fuck. You're 44. And then he goes get to the, the fuck gym. out of here, man. He goes to the gym. He goes to the gym and swallows other muscle, <laughs> other body. Yeah, yeah, like oh, fucking. You're cool. Get the fuck out of here. That, he, 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 that, <sighs> wow. Okay. Yeah. No. I was like, damn, nigga. You are. Uh, you are apparently uh, a time traveler or some shit like that. But um, the trainers be like, yeah, there's more it, motherfuckers in here earlier. What happened? Yeah. What happened? I absorbed them into my muscles. That's what I, I did. No. You don't know. I, I, like, oh, I no. <laughs> You think you can guess out with me, but you can't. He's just like, he's um, just like they had to go. <laughs> had to I'm go. hungry. But no, this is the truth, man. Uh, the fact that he turned it down, uh, there's been uh, Pete Buttigieg who said, it's too bad you bitched out. You know, he didn't say exactly that, but he pretty much was on Fox and, yeah, it sounded like a bitch move to me, kind of bitched out on it. Biden was down to do the virtual. What happened with you, cuz? Did you just say cuz, Pete Buttigieg? <laughs> yeah, cuz. Hey, cuz. <laughs> and AJ Fitz said he eats mid midgets for protein shakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> midgets, by the way, uh, I ate a few midgets, and I'm telling you, they're, they're delicious. And I, man, I, don't, I don't respect that because they're they too easy to catch, AJ Fitz. Now, if you that's don't true. Really be fit, yeah, yeah, I expect yeah. at least at least 10 year olds and up or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, right. that, that's not fair. Come on, man. But it's they like, do fit in the blender. Low, that's which... low-hanging fruit. That's low-hanging fruit, yeah. bro. Come on. You, you, <laughs> they fit, you better do yes, that. Yes, <laughs> they fit in the blender, and then you... But, You're um, supposed to chase chickens oh. and they go around the yard, not... <laughs> <laughs> that's what they do with boxers. That's how you stay fast. Yeah. We're going to hell. <laughs> Savage AF is going to hell. <laughs> Instead of boxers, they get really fast okay. midgets. Like, I cannot catch this little motherfucker. Um, <laughs> but, no, they said that Trump said that um, if he doesn't have, no, and I'm not exaggerating, this is a quote from a person close to him, I mean that was in his circle, said he actually sounded like a child, if it doesn't go the way I want it to go, pretending to the debate, then there's no debate, and they said he sounded like a petulant child and the thing is, Biden was like, oh, he didn't even hesitate, Biden was like yo, you got COVID we're rocking with the fucking virtual." And it's funny, all Trump's people, 
None of Trump's people even said, maybe that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're going to all, hell. Welcome, Matches 360. But AJ Fit, AJ Fit 365 <laughs> said, I kick him in the stomach and put him in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> and you can get three or four of them. I just the got trunk. a visual. I just got a visual of that. <laughs> Like, actually, the visual in my head was the trunk open, he kicks him, and they fucking just land in the trunk. <laughs> like, he kicks him into the trunk. He's like going it. to hell. <laughs> He's going to hell. And all you people uh, that are doing a little smiley. That yeah, that, that hurt all right, me. All right, man, all right. I'm done. No, we got to move on. We got to move on. We got other shit to talk about. No, fuck it. It's cool. We, man, it's the show. That's what the fuck is this? You know, it's sometimes we're going to talk about heavy shit that's happened in the political realm. Yeah. And other times we're going to talk about kicking midgets in the stomach <laughs> and the kidnapping stomach. them, yeah. put them in there <laughs> so you can put them in a, a protein shake and that's, drink them down to make your life last longer. That's called, that's, the called, one. that's called the Little Gretch plot. Because <laughs> uh, the governor of Michigan is Big Gretch. They wanted to kick her in the stomach and put her in the trunk. But when they. Yeah, when they that admit, was. Yeah, a lot of kidnapping little, going little on on this show. That's Today's show, we right. are doing a lot of kidnapping. But the, the bottom line is if he doesn't debate, this is what ABC said. ABC said, well, if you don't show up, Biden gets the whole fucking hour. Oh. He's yeah, also. So doing Biden it. will be doing a, a, a virtual town hall without fucking Trump. Oh well, uh, well, that's going down. That that's already going down because they pushed, they pushed the the you know the virtual date back. Um, but but yeah, Joe Biden. They their ABC was like fuck it. So he they're doing a town hall with Joe Biden instead. Um, but but the the what Trump is refusing the virtual joint is 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 scheduled to be after that. It's it, it's a postponed. Uh, you know, reinstallment. But well, uh, yeah, that's election. too close to the. That's too close to the election. Fuck out of here, man. So it's about time somebody stood up to this orange yeah. cunt stick, and then, you know what I'm saying. And and the butt crunch don't understand that it's the world is not going to work your way anymore. And I think that's good. By the way, Peace. we're at 97. I need 98 on these subscribers. I need y'all to start subscribing to this podcast. 98 million. 98 million. 98 million. We got to, yeah. Right. We, um, and on the podcast, I forgot. Yeah, we got to have you subscribe to the podcast version of the show, which is on Stitcher, iTunes, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. And if you go to iHeartRadio or you go to, um, oh, SoundCloud, when you do, um, they got a new thing where, they will send you alerts so you can just pick bits of what we talked about. So it'll be broke down that way. So, yeah. I mean, I've been checking it out. I've been linking everything up too because I'm building a new site. And um, hopefully you guys will go check out the site too. Yeah, and sure. we will have midget protein shakes available in the merch <laughs> store. Out the trunk. We selling them out the trunk. Right. <laughs> out the trunk. <laughs> Savage protein shakes. And All we'll right, have so AJ Fit on the cover like this. And a midget on his back. <laughs> Just, ah, <laughs> flying through the air towards the trunk. <laughs> All right. So, um, so. What's we, up, Deborah? So, okay. So, speaking of Savage, um, and they're off. It's a, it's a horse race reference. Um, but your boy Trumpy Dumpty is out here now talking about, he was in, in uh, I believe, Wisconsin. No, Minnesota recently. Um, good old Midwest. But it dang don't dang. And, uh. He was uh, talking to a crowd of his supporters about how good their genes are and what good genes they are, they have. And, you know, that was something that his last doctor uh, before uh, these fuckheads now who are lying to us uh, was like, you know, even though he eats McDonald's every day, he's got he just got good genes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, got good genes. Right, you know these doctors are such genes. a disgrace, man. Fuck these dudes, man. All of them. All of them need prison rape to their face. But uh, <laughs> damn. But but uh, but uh, you know, recently uh, Jewish leaders have started to speak up over this because he he literally at, at this rally in Minnesota. Uh, shout out to Jay News once again, not because of the rally, but because of Minnesota. <laughs> uh, he he was he he brought up the the racehorse theory, which is a an American eugenicist. Which those those were the those were the ones that the Nazis looked up in in, in order right. to shape shape some of their you know uh, genetic ideology. to shape how they were going to go about the genocide of the Jewish right race. so eugenics and and Nazism uh, is behind the racehorse theory, which is basically the the concept that 
racehorse breeders use, which is you take the best dog breeders do this, all of it, right? You take the best of a given litter or, you know, pride or right. whatever the fuck the apex call it. or the alpha of that and you of put it that with group the, and you and you right. keep, you keep breeding the best stud. together you keep breeding the best together and you you will end up with a superior breed or in our case race of humans um and obviously uh eugenicists and nazis believe that those people are white um <laughs> so that becomes a problem but especially when the president of the United States tar- starts talking about this racehorse theory and what good genes Minnesotans have, because while Jay News may be a real ass nigga, um, and George most Floyd, Minnesotans, yeah, most and Minnesotans, and I've been there many and times, we, and we saw Minneapolis go off because uh, white and non-black cops uh, sat on the neck of a black man. You know what I mean? Uh, you can't get more north than Minnesota and all that shit, right? So um, it, it's just one of those things that uh, it, it, it's a, to, to some of us, a blatant, but to, to others, a veiled um, white supremacy coming from the white Oh, house. no, it, it's not. I don't think it's veiled. I think when you say shit like that, anything that even slightly, you know, correlates with fucking Nazis you know, because the Nazis, that's exactly, they were trying to breed a new superior race. And, you know, we saw Captain America try to stop him. You saw what the Red Skull was doing. He was all about that shit. And he was yeah. evil. He even fucking, he pushed the green girl because she was green off the fucking cliff. Everybody knows that. So, end of the day, he's, I think that his mind is slipping and he, and everything that's evil in him is bubbling to the top. And I think the steroids is making him feel like not only can it bubble to the top, he can be fucking strong about it. And I'm just telling you right now, if he loses, and everybody, y'all can, y'all can think I'm fucking crazy, it's going to be a civil war. I really do think that. I think that his followers Whatever. are so fucking, they're so crazy and out of their fucking gourd. Like, you're not going to take our beloved president away. We'll fight you for it. It's, I mean, it's you getting see me that bad. News. You and see me and um, high, cheek, yeah, high cheek underscore bones. You said it's the beginning of the, you think it's dementia? I've been saying he's the, dementia. No, I think that some of the stuff he's saying, oh, he's absolutely oh, well, is aware well, of. Well, it. let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Because uh, Nancy Pelosi, obviously, this won't ever go through the Senate and then be signed by the president. But today, she, she, uh, sought within the House uh, to um, begin a bill um, along the lines of the 25th Amendment, which has to do with, you know, uh, the sort of replacement of the president um, in emergency situations. Um, a task force, right, a, a, a congressional task force that uh, oversees the president's, you know, kind of uh, capacity to to fulfill right. the job um because she she is openly questioning his his mentality his mental state right now stability right yeah yeah state between the drugs stability. and and all of that so um, but even before that Nancy he was a nutty buddy but, and, and obviously yeah. a, a bill like this won't go through because it would have to go through mitch mcconnell's uh, uh senate and by the way and, and then have to be signed by the president. But by the way, Mitch McConnell speaking. I'm, I'm sorry, bitch McConnell speaking. Bitch of, McConnell. It's bitch McConnell. Yeah, yeah. You gotta make sure you put the, the bitch in there, cause he acts like a bitch. The shell, the shellless turtle, as we call yes. him, uh, bitch McConnell. He um. He hasn't been to the White House since August sixth. If you notice, this is one thing that hasn't been talked about. He was not at any of these super spreader White House events. He wasn't at the Amy Coney Barrett um, right. nomination. Um, you know, he, he hasn't been at these events. Uh, and he openly today said that, at, or I'm sorry, I think it was yesterday, at an event uh, in Kentucky that he didn't feel the White House was, um, you know, initiation, initiating COVID uh, protocol properly or at all. Bitch McConnell has stopped going to the White House 
because right, he's and yet he's the right. one always talking and trying to block everything and leave things on the Senate floor where he won't push through things that would have actually helped people push through things. Two months. He's he he yeah two months, but he also he calls himself a grim reaper. Two months. He's right, but he wants it. Right, that's why they want to do the virtual pertaining to pushing this Supreme Court um, pick, which I think is I, I read some of her her some of the stuff she wrote. This bitch is not just right wing. She's so right wing. She left. She went all the way to back to fuck around. She's a little nutty, buddy. I don't mean it like, yeah. Wait, who's the nutty buddy? Wait, the Supreme Court pick. Oh, oh, Amy Coney Barrett. Oh, uh, bro. <laughs> no, like the, her. It's she's almost it, an it, extremist. It, yeah, no, she's a. She's what I call a crackette. You know what I mean? There's crackers and there's crackettes, you know what I mean? And it's, yeah, uh, she's a crackette, but she's but she's extra. Her things pertaining to uh, abortion and right to life because of her religion, her 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 litter of children um, that she continued to have because you know they she's against uh, abortion. And I noticed some people on here she like got two blacks. What are you trying to... she got two huh? blacks. She's got two blacks, wow. and they're from Haiti. She saved them from. Being around Negroes who speak French. <laughs> you know, I, yeah, just, but I, I just think that, you know, thank you. if they put her in there, there's not going to be, there's going to be an imbalance. Um, Miss in No the Slick Name called her a handmaid. <laughs> yeah, she definitely is. She's a, she's a little creepy. And also, one of the things they said that the president was pressuring anybody that he picked was <laughs> the Affordable Care Act. Oh, Miss Handmaid. Abbott. Miss Adverb's going at somebody. I, I don't know. <laughs> and you C know what? C C three one three said Miss Adverb trying to add another skull to her troll chain. <laughs> you know. Know. Watch out! Hey, 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 you kids! Hey, play nice. If you're gonna play, right. play with nine. One, nine, two, yes. two and a half, three. I will. Yeah, all right, now you put those knives down, and we use guns here. This is how we play here. Because this all is right. Savage AF. So, but speaking of not playing, man, and, and you know, I, I do feel the Jewish community and Jewish leaders for speaking up on this because when you got the president of the United States in, in Minnesota uh, talking about how good everybody's genes are, it's like the racehorse theory, you know, you know, genes are good and genes, genes. Um, it's, it's, uh, it should be concerning to them because that, that, that is, like we said, Nazi talk. But again, that should be concerning to all of us because, you know, while Nazis... They they didn't just kill a bunch of Jews. They killed uh, all a bunch of ethnic, even more ethnic Europeans than you know gypsies and all other kind of. Poor right. They they people. went after anybody they felt that wasn't um, of pure blood, and they actually yeah. that was part of their doctrine. But this is the wild part when you think about it. The Jewish community knows it. Um, I was watching an interview um, with Rob Reiner, and he was saying. You know, he's pushing that envelope and we're going to push back. I really think that that's why I said I say civil war. And it may not be a blood in the streets, crazy across the board. But I think that they're so extreme and the the white supremacists are so extreme and they feel like they're pressured and pushed. And the Jewish community, we already saw them beat up in Charlottesville. Did you see that video? It was horrible. Right. It was a black and it was a mixed couple. It was a Jewish lady. And a, a, a black man were walking through where the they were going, and these people jumped them. They jumped them and beat the shit out of them. Um, luckily, dude had hands, and he got enough. He got a few in to get his girl away. And um, it's just getting to that that point. And Trump using this fucking Nazi this Nazi shit. It's just it's like if I was Jewish, I'd be scared. You know, if I was Jewish, I'd because honestly. When you talk like that, I know that he goes after, they're going to go after everybody. You next. I mean, and Pedro, you're a double fucking win. Pedro Hernandez. Oh, you're yeah, fucking oh, gone, bro. Right, guys, look what you're I got. Gone. <laughs> Sorry, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> you, wait a minute. First off, let me tell you what his name is. It's Pedro Hernandez. I'm not going to say the whole name. It fucking makes my tongue hurt. But I'll tell you right now, I got him in my trunk. Luckily, um, there was this guy kicking midgets into his trunk and uh, <laughs> it distracted a lot of people. Everybody looked over there. And while they were looking over there, I bust him in the back of the head, throw him in the trunk. I mean, I'm <laughs> telling you right now, shit is getting really, really yeah. scary. Yeah. And I'm hoping 
I'm hoping that the 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 races that are see that have sense, like the white people who have sense, the uh, the black people who aren't cooning it up, and you know, we this is a Cornelius moment. This is um, if you've seen the movie, by the way, very good movie. Um, the remake of Planet of the Apes, and there's a portion, there's a part in it where he's being horrible, the, 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 the uh, keeper, the zookeeper, or the whatever keeper, been horrible, and Cornelia stands up and goes, no! We're at that point now. We gotta have somebody stand up. I don't know if you do it like that, but it was, if you saw the movie, you know what I'm saying, no! Also, you just, you just made us the apes in that movie, dog, but I get what you're saying. I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, but the apes win at the end. No, you know, yeah, we're the apes. I mean, we no, we the gorillas. We gorillas. We apes. But no, no, and basically that script was basically it was about it was about racism. It was no, a I'm lot of on. of course. That, yeah, that, it was that, about the racism. Parallels are all there. Yeah. The parallels, yeah, exactly. But now, now Trumpy using the racehorse theory, which is so obvious. How is it that they're tiptoeing around it? Now the Jewish community is not. The Jewish community is like, no, fuck that. We know what that kind of language is. But you know what? The press is trying to tiptoe around it instead of saying what the fuck it is. You know what the fuck that is, man. That's on some genocidal crazy shit. And Trump has people that will do what he says. I'm telling you right now. I think if he said go in the streets and start killing people of color, they would start doing it. I oh, really they, do believe they, that. And that's not paranoia. Because the way these proud boys immediately responded with T-shirts and recruiting and all this other stuff and getting their weapons up, this shit could happen. Do what he says. They don't even. They don't even have to get direct orders, right? They're like even with stand back and stand by, like they're like, we know exactly what you mean, sir. Thank you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they, you're right. They read, he didn't they even, read everything. Yeah. Else, but you see what he means is. See, he said we can go out here and do this now. Like that's why that's why Kyle Rittenhouse. Not Cornelius Caesar. It was Caesar. Caesar. Caesar yeah, yeah, Correct. exactly. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I saw the movie and Cornelius I thought it was, was that maybe he was the original one, right? In the I think it was original. I know Cornelius. there was one called Cornelius. I'm yeah, that was the original yeah. one. But but um, Caesar Caesar that scene maybe uh, think about right now that somebody it's just we're at that point. Not that we're apes. And problem and AJ Chris said we're not apes, we're lichens. People aren't gonna know what lichens are. I know what lichens are. Werewolves, man. Come on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he said, Oh, you, yeah, Pedro, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Most people are like lichens. You'd have to it's very it's just fuck it. We're not even going to You talking about full moon ass niggas? You talking about these full moon uh, yes. niggas that be howling at the moon? Yes. <laughs> yes. I was raised yes. by the wolves. But yo, by the by... way, by by the way, um, one of the hottest uh, new albums I've, I've heard. Detroit too, man. Get yeah, it. I've been trying to tell yeah. y'all. Um, yeah, man, Big so, Sean. So yeah, you you we've got all these elements going on, um, but even even at this point, like, and th this is kind of you know warms my heart that the Jewish people are are, are worried now because <laughs> like. They can get shit done. They have attorneys. They have power. They have pull, and I mean that in all positive ways. That, that, that you know, it's 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 really literally um, what helped out the civil rights movement. What was the infusion of of Jewish faces, of Jewish attorneys? You know, uh, the ACLU. Uh, you know, things like that. Where it, it because it can't just be black and brown faces saying, "Oh, we're being oppressed." Nobody listens to that, right? Right, and be... Jewish people, Jew Jewish people of all people, um, I think should understand that clearly with the shit that they went through. They absolutely, they, do. I mean, absolutely, that's, that's, absolutely, that's and alarmed. that's why they're alarmed by the race horse theory talk. Is that you know what I mean? It's it, and yeah, I got hot heart sometimes. My, my, there's heat in my heart sometimes. Everybody hates. Cold.